man could go to jail if he is the father how is that possible how you being the dad will make you go to jail after what i seen in that other courtroom i'm not even mad at jerome no more chat jerome make sure none of these people be acting the way people be acting so i can't even be mad at jerome ever again an owi fourth from what is wrong with him dwelling from 2006 right, i need to take a break this man right now is having a stare down with me <laughs> That's just what my truth is about this situation. Ms. Adams, you say you're here today regarding a matter of extreme urgency. Yes. Now, your son, Mr. Adams, is joining us via satellite from Flint, Michigan. Flint. Because he's been prohibited by law enforcement from leaving your home state. And you claim he's on the verge of being arrested for back child support. Oh! And you're both with us today to prove he's not the father of the defendant's three-year-old son in an effort to keep him out of jail. You say Mr. Adams is indeed your baby's biological father, Ooh, and you argue nice. his legal issues are his own fault because he never stepped up for his son. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Adams is joining us from WBSF 46, the CW in That's Flint, a clear Michigan. Camera. And we'll hear from you in a moment, sir. So, Ms. Adams, please tell the court why things have gotten to this dire point for both you and your son. Your Honor, my son is now facing jail oh! because of this situation. Enlighten me on this situation. You were in a relationship with Ms. Williams. Uh, no, I really wouldn't call it no relationship. What was it? You know, I met her at a house party. She tried to have sex with me on the first date, so that was a judge of character right there. But you weren't in a committed relationship. No, Your Honor. Did you intend this to be a committed relationship? I mean, no, when we was we was young at the time, we hooked up on and off and you know, it just So it was it just an on and off thing. Yeah, it was just an on and so off. So if it thing. wasn't committed during that time, were you also sleeping with other men as well? Yes, ma'am, I was. Oh, oh What are you out here doing, young lady? That's her problem right now. Now we got mistaken identity of who could be the father. I don't even know if that's mistaken identity, but you get the point. This is why young ladies can't be sleeping around. You get pregnant by who? Whose is it? Now you got to just start recapping. I was with Tyrone, Jerome, Aaron. I don't know who else. Y'all just be out here doing stuff too much. Without using protection. Yes. Oh, that's even worse. Ew. What kind of condomless community are we living in now? It's a nasty. She need to get herself tested. All right, so the doubts that Mr. Adams and his mother have, they are valid doubts. It's a possibility. I never, you know, said, oh, you are the father or you gonna take care of this baby or nothing like that. And I... yet he's sitting now in Flint, Michigan, nervous that he could be arrested at any point for child support for a child everybody agrees may or may not be his. I asked him twice to get the mm -hmm. DNA test. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm, I, I'm hungover. He was giving me excuses, basically. So I took it upon myself to get help with the DNA test. It wasn't for no money at all. I said, I pay for the DNA test myself. You ain't got to come out of pocket. That part is not my fault. But so that... take me back. I need to understand these details. You, mm -hmm. you tell him you're pregnant. Yeah. Yes. What happens? Me and my ex was still trying to make things work and we were still messing around. Ew! You know, me and my ex both felt like, oh, you're, you're the father or whatever. So we just went through that whole year I was pregnant. I didn't mention him about the baby until I found out it wasn't my ex. So, Ew. when you got pregnant, you didn't even include Mr. Adams in this equation. No, I didn't. You thought it was your ex's. And yes, your ex yes, said, I did. well, it's mine too. And you all went through this whole process, but then you yes. had a test, it was not your ex's. So immediately then you said it was Mr. Adams. Yes. I located him and I told him it's a possibility that you may be the father of John. It got to the point where you needed help and so you went to the state. Yes. And then during that time, you had to name who the potential father could be. Yes, I did. And you gave the state his name. Yes, I did. And then he was ordered to go to court. Yes, he was. Mr. Adams, did you go to court? Uh, no, Your Honor only due to the fact that I was incarcerated, so I didn't receive any court subpoenas, anything, Your Honor, I was incarcerated. How, what is he doing in jail? What do y'all be out here doing? She out here sleeping with everybody, he out here committing illegal activity. 
What is going on, man? A possibility is a possibility. I never said no, and I never said he was the father. You said no. Another situation, we was in a department store, and I seen her. She was with a guy. She was around nine months pregnant, and I um, asked her to sit down and talk to me for a minute. She said, I'm positive that that's not your son's child. Did you that's tell her lie. that, Ms. Williams? No, that's a lie. She never seen me when I was pregnant. Yes, I did. So you don't remember this happening? Matter of fact, I take that back. I wasn't nine months pregnant. I was still in the middle of the pregnancy, and that's when I told you uh, when I was with my ex and I thought it was my ex. Now her story just changed. She never seen me when I was pregnant. You know what? I take that back. It was when I was in the middle. This young lady playing games and Reese ain't going for it. And she letting everybody babysit while she go to the strip club. Ain't what? I babysit at the child first and off, she didn't come get first me for off, two days. Listen. Wait, how the club get brought into this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? <laughs> how the strip club get brought up? <laughs> whoa, there's another layer to the story. Somebody not explaining something to me. First off, when I was dancing, the only person that ever watched my kid when I was dancing was my mom. Most of the You're time. You're lying because you said your time. mother didn't a like lot of you and wouldn't watch. Tomo, she just caught herself in a lie immediately. The only person that ever watched my kid when I was dancing was my mom. Most of the You're time. You're lying because you a lot said of the your time. mother. The only person that watched my kid when I was dancing was my mom. Most of the time. A lot of the time. So sometimes somebody else is watching it. What are you talking about, lady? So now what are you doing for yourself? Right now I work at Memorial Hermit in Houston, Texas. So you have a job? Yes, I have a job. And you trying to better yourself? I'm trying to better myself. And get your yes. life together for your child? Yes, I am. Why are they talking to her like she's a recovering addict or something? And you trying to better yourself? I'm trying to better myself. And get your yes. life together? You're bettering yourself? Yes, I'm taking it one day at a time. I'm getting back on my feet. You're just a horny stripper. <laughs> she just need to stop fucking. That'll be the end of all her problems. That's what I want to hear. Miss Williams is claiming that she asked you to take a DNA test. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. She did. Why didn't you take it? His excuse was he had a hangover. He couldn't get up. He was just basically being lazy. The one time that I couldn't go I was hungover, I'm not gonna lie, you know. It wasn't being lazy or nothing, I really was hungover. But, all the other times that we scheduled dates, she was not present, nowhere to be found, probably off partying or anything, girl. Whoa. I don't know how you lay up in the bed talking about you hungover. When you have a paternity issue at stake, and then you ultimately end up being on the hook, for child support for a child that may or may not be your biological child because you couldn't get up and show up for a paternity test. You were deemed to be the father by default and you had already been placed on child support. How'd you find this out? At the beginning of this year, I started receiving paperwork telling me that I had to make payments of $99 per month for a child that I haven't even been tested for yet. $99 a month? They only want him to pay $100? This man is about to go to jail for $100 a month? Are you out of your mind? When people say child support, my brain automatically assume some crazy numbers. $100 and he risking going to jail over $100? Y'all are acting out of control. I don't even care if the baby not mine. The second y'all start talking jail, listen, you can have it. <laughs> listen, if y'all robbing me or gonna take me to prison, I'd rather get robbed. I don't know what to tell you, Chet. Mr. Adams, you claim you already spent time in jail for failure to pay support. Yes, Your Honor. What happened? Basically, I was walking to the store to get some cigarettes. Police just ran our names. Now, I didn't even know I had a warrant. Mm -hmm. So I gave them my name proud. Like, you know, I'm Lassiter Adams. You know, I ain't think I had no warrant. Come to find out, he come back to me like, oh, Mr. Adams, you got a warrant for child support. I'm like, what? And what? next thing you know, he put me in the back of the car in handcuffs. If he just would have got up and got the DNA test when I asked him, we wouldn't even be going through this. If she wouldn't have known who the father of her child was from jump, having okay, all, yeah. all that sex. I'm all having all that sex. <laughs> having all that sex. Oh, I'm gonna say, yes, I did. And I'm and gonna own up to it. Yes, I did. You wouldn't be but going through this. It's a possibility. I had sex with your son, not you.
It don't matter. If that child is the child of my son, it'll be my grandson. And right. I haven't so don't come at me like I don't know my mistakes. I know my mistakes and I know own mistakes. I'm a Ms. Child, Adam, but I was I'm a grown single now. mother. Okay, I, and I I'm a single mother. Jobs. And I'm a single mother. I didn't mother. stop stripping I'm a single mother. I sure did shake my butt. Yes, I did. I had three and jobs. I took care of my son at the end of the day. Okay, ladies. I'm worried about my kid. Ladies. Where Jerome at? Chat, shut up, Jerome. It's doing what Jerome need to do. Now y'all not gonna try to bring Jerome into this. I took care of my key. Ladies, and I, I take care of mine. With or without your son. I know this is emotional. I think I would feel if he was really my son. You know, I think we had that bond, that connection. You know, I just really ain't feel that, you know. I never had a kid, so I can't speak on that bond or that connection. Is that a real thing? It's just a magical aura that flies off of a baby when it's yours. And let me really keep it real. Because of your irresponsibility, you've created a situation where you might go to jail oh! if this child turns out to be yours. But Jerome, I think we're ready for the results. Jerome! These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and, and they, they read, read as, as follows. follows. In the case of Adams uh -huh. v. Williams. Uh -huh. Get up in your chair, chat. Pertaining to whether Mr. Adams chair, is the chat. father of three-year-old John Get up in your Jones, chair, chat. It has been determined by who? that Mr. Adams ah! They keep playing games with Ruth. We're sitting on homeowners. They playing, chat. They think I'm playing around. Show me the DNA results. Do you want to? It has been determined. The fighter? That Mr. Adams is not. That baby looked nothing like him, to be honest, but that's crazy. Good thing he don't go to jail. Ah, take me off child support, baby. Oh, no. This man doing a touchdown celebration. He about to start hitting the gritty. Ah, take me off child support, baby. Mr. Adams. You done come to the wrong courtroom clowning. This is not a joke. It's nothing to dance about. It's nothing to laugh about. Your future was on the line because of your bad decisions. Now, you should be ashamed of yourself not sitting around dancing. <laughs> Take me off child support. <laughs> That's what he's feeling inside. This man was scared. You could tell his heart was racing. That's what came out of your fucking mouth when you realized you ain't a dad now. Don't go to jail. Take me off child support, baby. 